Welcome to Matrix Part 2 Auto Mix Modes. Notice I have five particular inputs routed to output number one. Let's learn how to set the modes to get the absolute best performance for the room. Okay, you'll notice that by default, all of the modes are set to auto. Down here for auto mix mode, you'll see the four available mix modes, and we'll talk about phantom mode in part three. Now notice, if I select number one, you'll notice that I have president routed to zone one. If I select number two, you'll notice I have CEO routed to zone one. Number three is sales to zone one, four is marketing to zone one, and five is CD audio mono to zone one. So as an example, right now, since they're all in auto mode, they all participate equally in Electrosonic's gain sharing algorithm. Now to actually optimize this, what I would want to do is let's select the CEO or actually uh, he's going to be in number two and let's set him to override now what that means is that he is going to participate in the gain sharing algorithm in a different way he'll contribute to the gain sharing algorithm but he will not be affected by it also you'll notice that there's a little exclamation point which indicates that he's in override mode so it's really nice at a glance you can see the matrix and see the modes as well as the gain settings so now if we look at the CD player, we don't want it to participate in the gain sharing algorithm at all. So we select either direct or background mode for it. If we select direct mode, it'll always come in at the same level. It will neither contribute to the gain sharing algorithm nor be affected by the gain sharing algorithm. However, what if all four of the other inputs are actually commenting on the CD audio. So it might be appropriate at that time so that anytime anyone speaks, the CD audio would, in a very smooth manner, uh, just be reduced. Well, let's put that into background mode. So now you'll notice you have a different little icon. And what this indicates is that if anyone speaks, the CD audio will be affected. So in background mode, the audio is affected by the gain sharing algorithm but it does not contribute to it and this works really well if people are commenting on audio and you want the audio to slightly uh, you want the level to, to reduce slightly and then come back up when nobody's talking okay those are examples of how you might use auto override direct and background mode let's go into part three and talk about phantom mode